Hello world, welcome to the 22nd video on my channel. Please remember to subscribe to watch me build my own digital assistant called Shane. In the last video we controlled a nerf gun with Shane and I was hoping to have that completed for this video but I'm having troubles finding a way to pull the trigger remotely. So in this video we'll add to our Python for Finance playlist and show off the Coinbase IPI, API. I use Coinbase to manage my cryptocurrency portfolio. I own Bitcoin and all the coins which have forked off of it. So the Coinbase IP API allows you to access your uh, wallet account and you can even create your own crypto trading block. So in this video, we'll just show off the account balance details. So I try not to copy and paste code, but this code was exactly what I wanted that I found on the internet. So all credit goes to this article right here. Sam Hagen, Mr. Sam Hagen, if you ever see this, um, just want to let you know thank you. And he goes step by step on how it works. And so when we go through the code, you'll see that I basically did exactly what he said, um, except for having it run hourly. So let's run this program and check it out. If this is something you're interested in, just know that when we talk about, uh, you have to apply for the Coinbase API and that takes 48 hours. So uh, if you're gonna try to copy what I'm doing here, just know that when we go through the steps that it's gonna take 48 hours. So let's run this. There you go. So it shows the balance, which I've grayed out for my BSV wallet, my Bitcoin Cash wallet, and my actual Bitcoin wallet. These are all in USD, and then it gives a total balance. You're gonna have to trust me that this works. And so after this video, I'm gonna take out anything that has a zero balance, so it just shows my total balance. And this is in a file called net worth because I want all the functions to check all my accounts so I can have my own mint.com or if you need a budget, whatever app you're used to. So that's what it is. It's kind of simple, but I really like it. So when we go into the API, you log into your Coinbase, you go to API access, and then you create a new P API key. It's going to give you a list of options. You're going to have to decide what you want. I clicked them all and you can see there is so many things that let you do with your own wallet. Okay, so my keys grayed out right here, but when you first start it, it's going to say disable. And so it's going to say that for 48 hours. And then if you try to use my code, it's not going to work until this says enabled. Okay, so after you have your API enabled, you go see Mr. Sam Hagen's code, or you can watch the rest of this YouTube video, which I hope you do. Okay, so let's clear this out. So when we go through the code, you're going to, first you have to pip install Coinbase. Then from the Coinbase wallet client, you're going to import just the client, capital C. So on all the APIs that we've done, YouTube, Twitter, I keep my API secret. I've seen other YouTubers show their API keys. Um, I think it's kind of weird that they do it unless it's only they're doing that only when they do YouTube videos. But from my keys file, you can see that right here. You need to import your Coinbase API key and your Coinbase API secret. And you get those when you sign up for the Coinbase. So from the coinbase.wallet.error, import this authentication error. So if you go to this website, you'll see that uh, I departed a little bit by doing what's called a try and catch. And so um, this function that I'm building with Coinbase is going to be part of Shane's overall capabilities and eventually Shane is going to be live and I can't have it having errors and crash the whole program so I'm going to try to find a, a way to catch almost every error and so that's what I did here and you won't see that on the uh, website that I showed you 
So first you're going to start the client by creating a client instance and by passing it your API key and your secret API key. And then I created a total, you started off with zero, and then a message. And that's a dictionary, I believe, or a list. So then you're going to try to get your accounts using the client.getAccounts. And for each wallet in my accounts data, I want you to message.append the wallet name as a string. And then we're going to add a space and then the native balance, which is a, a USD for Coinbase. And then I want the value to say the USD and the native balance. And then I want to add that all of them together, each wallet I have, to the total. And then at the very bottom, it's going to append to the message, the total balance is this. And it's going to print that message by joining it. So if my API was not enabled and it was disabled, when I ran this, it would have said, could not authenticate with your Coinbase API. If you go to the website and go exactly like it says, uh, it'll just say, um, could not communicate, or you'll just get an error. It'll say, process finished with ex exit code minus one. So if you try this, try and accept, you'll get this could not authenticate. And the second I was enabled, my API, the code ran perfectly. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of quick, so please remember to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And then hopefully in the next video, I'll have my Nerf gun being able to fire remotely. Goodbye, world.